Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 13th of October. So this is for Saturday into Sunday, so 13th, 14th, but this is, you know, whenever it resonates with you. This reading is for somebody, don't know who. We'll see whatever comes up. Now, typically, I focus on love. You guys should already know that by now, unless you're a new watcher. I focus my readings around love. If you can make them work towards your career or your family. And sometimes, you know, that stuff comes out. But, you know. Power's in your own hands, right? This is about awareness. This is about manifestation. You have the power to do something. Power is in your hands. Big change is on the horizon. Okay, big change. And it's because somebody's taking action. They're changing. Becoming more aware of all the power that they actually have. Removing obstacles. Mental obstacles. Waking up. Somebody is kind of like waking up here. I have the power. I have the power to be happy. Destined change. Something is destined to change for the better. Ooh. This is lack of faith in magic. You know, yesterday I woke up with that song in my head. Oh, ho, it's magic. It's magic. That Yeah, that was yesterday morning. This is lack of faith in magic. There is such thing, okay? You have the power to manifest. That's kind of like magic. Manifestation is kind of like magic, right? It is. You have to believe. You have to use those resources, those intuitive resources, that oneness with the divine. You have to use that to your advantage. Okay? So if you haven't then, I'm here to tell you to start doing it because it works, all right? There is a divine connection here that is easily accessible if you use it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Ooh. Well, yikes. Okay, so somebody is not putting in effort. Whew. You know, there's there's been some kind of negative thinking. <laughs> okay, there has been. There's some negative thinking, some mental turmoil that has held you back from success. Seriously. And usually your own thoughts are your biggest enemy, right? Usually you are your biggest enemy. I mean, that's usually the case, right? 
So, there's been a lack of growth, there's a lack of fertility here, there's a lack of excitement and expansion because of somebody's inability to put in effort to change their negative ways. Lack of faith, lack of trust, lack of listening, lack of listening to anybody, um, anybody at all. I mean, this is a, this is like a teacher or a spiritual advisor or your intuition or God or anybody. Even yourself. Refusing to change your thoughts. Refusing to change your own self. It's all in your hands. It's funny we started this out with it's in your hands. Your future, your wish fulfillment, your happiness is in your hands. Right? It is. Your success is in your own hands. Right? <laughs> This Knight of Cups reverse, that is false. It's like a false offer. It's fake. Something is fake. No follow through with that Knight of Cups reverse. This is like unreal. Something is unreal. And it has to do with next to that Eight of Swords reversed. I mean, that's somebody needs to come down to reality here. Somebody needs to realize that they don't need another person to love them. They need to love themselves. And no, that's not what you probably want to hear, but you've probably heard it a million times, right? Somebody is trying to get somebody to love them, you know, to take care of them when you have the resources to do it yourself. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to explain, but it's like somebody... Want somebody to come in here and fix them. But that's not going to work. If there's no. If it's not real. You know if it's just. Fake. You know I feel like there's. I mean this is a false foundation as well. Even if it's reversed. And there's lack of wish fulfillment here. Lack of abundance. Yeah, this is this over here is you need to be abundant on your own. Somebody's always wanting to be in a relationship because they think they need another person when the fact of the matter is they'd be better off on their own. Somebody is involved in a fake relationship or a fake commitment or a fake situation that has no growth. It doesn't have any growth. It's less than exciting. It's like there's no... Uh, spark anymore somebody is involved in a situation where there really isn't any spark there's a lot of fakeness pretending for codependent reasons staying in it for codependent reasons when all they have to do is put in effort and realize that they would be more abundant on their own. I mean, seriously abundant. They would enjoy the finer things in life and just be more stable and secure and happy and receive even more opportunities if they would be stop being fake.
it's like codependency here. Somebody is staying in a relationship because they're afraid to be alone. That's for some of you. Some of you are seeking out a relationship when you really need to take time to bring back your own abundance. You haven't done all the work that you need to do with the Eight of Pentacles reverse to get to this spot. You have to work a little bit. You have to find your resources, your strength, your power, your... This is this is made up of all the signs, okay? You have to use all, all of your resources to be abundant with who you are before you get into a real relationship because you're only going to bring in players, okay? You're only going to bring in players that don't put in effort until you know your worth, okay? I mean, son of a gun. So I feel like today, or whenever this resonates, there is a person here that has the power and the resources to be one. I mean, here we have another, it's a one, okay? It's a oneness. To, to wake up. To take care of themselves. Somebody has the power to take their life into the, you know, take their life back. To change their direction. The universe supports this change in direction, okay? There's been a lack of wish fulfillment for somebody staying in a false commitment, a false foundation, okay? So there's been a lack of wish fulfillment with somebody staying in a negative, false commitment. There's been no happiness there, no abundance there. It's time for a change. Because there's no more spark, there's no more anything, okay? There's no more growth there and somebody does know it. And it's time to take back that power. To shed the old. To become one. To take care of business. It's time to remove the obstacles that have been holding you back from the ultimate abundance, okay? There's a change, of course, on the horizon. There is. Because somebody is finding their power. They've been sacrificing their, their happiness for quite some time, though. Because of lack of faith. Maybe they, they did it. Be, they stayed in this situation because they were worried about legal issues or whatever. Worried about money as well. They may have stayed because of the money. But the overall advice right here is the Nine of Pentacles. That's being grateful for this lesson. Being grateful for everything. It's about realizing that You can do anything on your own. You know what I mean? You have the ability to be successful on your own. Instead of being in a fake situation where whoever you're dealing with isn't doing it for you. Okay? It's like they're not. They're not doing it for you. So I feel like independence is the best option here for somebody. Somebody hasn't been listening. Staying in a false negative commitment. But a change is coming, right? Ooh, denial, avoiding... Avoiding the truth. Somebody has been avoiding this stressful change, right? This stress, this distressful decision. Pretending, like I said, staying in a fake situation. Somebody has been faking their happiness. 
because they refused to use their resources to shed it and move out of it. Oh my goodness. You're at that crossroads where you have to make that difficult decision. Are you ready to stop avoiding the truth? Are you ready to come clean? Are you ready to take that mask off? Are you ready to put those swords down and walk away? Are you ready to face your fears or do you want to keep that mask on? I mean, that's what this is. There's a lack of wish fulfillment with that nine of cups. You are in a false commitment that's not making you happy. I'm sorry. That's what this is. I mean, it's not making you happy. And you're in complete denial. Pretending. Seriously, that fake came up for a reason. Pretending that everything is good. And you know what that's doing to you? Causing you stress. Oh. The Ace of Swords reversed. Dishonesty. Lack of clarity. Lack of truth. Lack of power. Somebody is refusing to use their power, to find their power, to see their power. Or maybe they're not fusing. Maybe they're just totally, I mean, unaware. They're not. Somebody is truly doesn't know how powerful they are. They truly don't know. They're in complete denial. They, they're like, they've given their power away. Weak. Living in a fake fantasy land, fantasy world, seriously. When it's time to bring balance and peace and harmony back to your life, it's time for a renewal. You've evolved. You're not the, that person that you used to be. You know... It feels as though with that Wheel of Fortune upright. That the universe is coming to help you with this change. And it may seem a little overwhelming. Because you have to face it. You're going to have to face some sort of truth. That you may not have wanted to face for quite some time. You've been trying to avoid facing this truth. But avoiding facing this truth has left you dissatisfied and unhappy. I think somebody has totally been ignoring their inner guide. Totally ignoring that. The truth, okay? They have. They've been, they've been refusing. And I always say refusing, but it's like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to hear the truth, even though I know the truth, because I know that you do. Okay? I know that you do. I feel like you guys, if somebody has been staying in a very dissatisfying, unhappy situation, and it's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time for this transition That you have been delaying. There's been a delay. With this eight of swords reversed. And the eight of coins reversed. There's a, That's a delay. That's a delay. Eight of the time is now upright. These are both reversed. It's a delay. It's a delay. You're, you've been delaying. Your own abundance. 
for codependent reasons. Seriously, it's codependent reasons with that Knight of Cups reverse. It is. Afraid to, to take it out on your own. To, afraid that you're going to be alone. Afraid to love yourself alone. It's a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. And it's a time of transformation. And it looks as though there's a chapter that is ending in your life. Probably abruptly. You may have avoided it for quite some time, but I think your days of avoiding this truth is just about over, okay? I do. I think that whatever you've been avoiding, whatever truth, whatever truth you have been avoiding is about to change, okay? It's going to change. Because this, this mental turmoil... It's going to be exposed. It is going to be. It's going to come out. It's going to be dealt with. With temperance, okay? Maybe a little overwhelming whenever whatever happens, happens. You may be a little overwhelmed. You may be a little moody. You know, it may cause some mood swings or whatever. But it needs to happen so that you can... Be where you need to be. Get your mojo back. So I feel like today or tomorrow there's going to be some sort of destined event or change or epiphany or something. That helps you walk away from something. That leads you in a new direction. Somebody is either walking away from you or you are walking away from them. A chapter is ending now that you have been avoiding. Somebody is walking away because they are not happy. That's what this is all about, anyway. Somebody is finding the strength, the resources, the power, the ability, the awareness, everything that they need to shed. The old. Open up. And head in a new direction. That's what this is. That is. They're finding their power. And they might not even want to find their power. But the universe is going to help them. Because there's a chapter that is completing here. <clears throat> that somebody has been avoiding. It's going to push you in a new direction. So I feel like there's a new direction. A new, a new chapter that is right in front of you. And, it's, and the power is in your hands as to what direction you're going to go. I mean, it always is, right? Free will does play a part. Everything happens for a purpose. This fake, false, whatever it is that you were in, happened for a purpose. It happened so that you could find out what you were worth. Seriously, it did. Let's get a, one of these. Somebody is walking away from something that was completely false. And they may not, they may be pushed to do that. You know what I mean? It's like the universe is in alignment with it's time. It's time to go. 
It's time to go. It's time to take that mask off and accept the truth. The power is in your hands. You have all the tools to be successful here. You do. You do. If you use your powers wisely, you will be successful. But you have to believe. You have to believe. If you don't believe, then you won't be successful. I just have to tell you that. You block. This is a blockage. This is a blockage as well. You block wish fulfillment by not thinking positive, by not manifesting, by not using your power wisely, okay? You will block wish fulfillment by avoiding, by being in denial, by lying to yourself. You're going to block your wish fulfillment. You're going to block happiness. Energy work. Let's get another one here. I'm going to go for one of these. Life can be electrifying because it's very essence. <laughs> energy work. That would make sense, right? With a magician. Life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. You have the ability to heal yourself. You do. And I see closure is coming here. Closure, some sort of cycle is closing in your life. It is. And I think that you're probably stressed because you know it's coming to an end. You knew this was coming. You saw this coming. You knew you were involved in something that was fake, false, not real. But moving into a period of, you know... Giving up on it is not easy, right? Giving up on something that at one time seemed to be love, you know, that seemed to be real is not easy, right? So at one time there was passion. At one time there was spark. At one time it felt loving. At one time everybody was putting in effort. But now everybody has evolved and they're not, they're not, it's not like it used to be. It's not, it's not. There's too many obstacles, there's been a lot of lies, there's been a lot of um, faking, pretending. And I just feel like at this point, it's better off to be on your own. It's better off, you will be more abundant, enjoying the finer things, more grateful if you do it on your own. It's like, you know what, why should I put in effort into something that is not real? Nature. This is the time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Healing is needed here. And somebody has been staying in a situation just for codependent reasons when there, there's no more spark. There's no spark. There's no flame. There's not even any attraction to it other than being with somebody. You know what I mean? So, there's a lack of happiness because it's time for a change. Somebody has to be honest with themselves. And they haven't been. They haven't been. So, there's an opportunity for success and stability in the future. <coughs> but, You have to make the change. You have to take action. You have to take action. The power is in your hands. Where you want this direction to go. Talk to you tomorrow.